With the release of Desert Treasure 2 came some powerful new items, including new best in slot rings, the new magic armor Virtus, and a new weapon called the Soul Reaper Axe. Today we're going to go PKing with these new items, starting with the Ultra Ring. This is really the only new ring that I'm interested in since it allows you to one hit any player in RuneScape with the DDS's new max hit a 50-50. Honestly, the chances of hitting the 50-50 are incredibly slim, but I'm still willing to risk 1.5 build to try it out a bit. So let's go for a few kills. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Wow, we're gonna get a nice DDS KO with this. I have a goal for this video, by the way. I'm not gonna end the video until I get a plus one smite. Loot, 490k, not bad. What is this? Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a little more like it. What do we get? 1.1 mil. <laughs> DDS is just gonna shred through the sky. Yep, that's one. That's two. Well, not as big of a hit as I would've wanted, to be honest. I'm obviously only testing the DDS a little bit, but I kinda wanna make a whole video going for the 50-50 with this thing. Anyway, one mil, not bad. Man, there is no PKers. Like, this is like all I have to go for. Yeah. Okay. I will say the loot's not bad out here, at least. Go for it here. <gasps> okay. And he smited. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. You know, I'm happy with that. I really do want to make a whole video going for the 50-50. I'm not going to lie, the DDS does admittedly suck, but it's cool that you can now hit a 50-50 in-game with it. And again, if you want to see that, I'll make a video on it. But for now, we have a lot more to test out, and I can't just be stuck on this DDS all day. So we're going to move on to a more effective spec weapon right after we check the loot on this, which is... 970k. It's not actually going to display correctly, but I'm actually risking about 200 mil at the moment. We're going to go PKing with a VLS. Put me in a video? Yeah, why not? If you die, or I die. That was stupid as hell. Oh, he actually risked. That was really stupid. I'm not going to lie. He could have one-shot me there. <laughs> he absolutely could have specced my HP out, but I just like risking. It's more fun. Like, it's stupid. It's definitely the stupider option, but it's just more fun. We got a 15 mil PK because we risked it there. Wait a minute. Is that an ad right there? I'm going to tell you a little something about myself. When I was 19, I wanted to get into coding, so I signed up for a course at my community college. About five minutes into that course, I quickly realized two things. One, that I had absolutely no chance in surviving in a class like that, and two, that I had just wasted a few thousand dollars. You see, I went to school in the dark ages when today's sponsor didn't exist. I'm talking about Covalence. Covalence is an online technical trade school that specializes in software development. Not only does Covalence teach you software development, but they actually show you how to get a career started in software development. The nice thing about Covalence is that you don't have to just sit there and take tests. All you have to do is show up, do the work, master the material, and be receptive to feedback. Covalence courses provide over 400 plus hours of content and around 50 portfolio worthy assignments which basically forces experience onto you and of course all of this is at your own pace you'll also have the entire covalence community available to you 24 7 if you ever need extra help along the way i'm not kidding they have their own discord setup side note the covalence team actually plays runescape by the way they even have a monthly membership program where you can check out all of the course material and learn your own way if you sign up using my link in the description the first month is free and you can cancel at any time. So click my link in the description and explore Covalence yourself. Big thanks to Covalence for sponsoring today's video. Good fight. <laughs> and about a hundred crate three. And we get 4.5 mil. That's not terrible. I've been fighting this guy for a little bit, so I'm gonna whip out the claws on him. It's gonna go for revenge here. Like it wasn't obvious. Now he runs. Now I go for my double D claw. There we go. It's as simple as that. Fair enough. You know, I was going to PK with the D claws until I got a massive hit, but I just did. So I'm happy with that. Why not? I'm always happy with an Elder Maul PK. Oh, 
Okay, good fight. I want to get an AGS KO. Oh, bounty hunter crate. 1.4 mil. It's not terrible when the Void Waker boys at least risk something. Okay, we've got the strat. Run away. Venge. Whack. Okay, we can do it again. Whack. There we go. <laughs> nice. All these little loots are adding up. Oh. You know, asking you shall receive, right? Thank you, AGS. You can max hit an 87 with the AGS, so I think I'll go for one more. 600k. Bro. Are you kidding me? Why doesn't my Gmail hit like that? That's 200 mil down the drain. <laughs> Why haven't you liked the video and subscribed yet? Who's my big bad boy talking to? Who the hell are you? Okay, well, now's a better time than ever. Let's move on to the Soul Reaper Axe. This thing is going for so much right now. 684 mil. <laughs> the Soul Reaper Axe is a very unique addition to the game since it behaves way differently than any other weapon in this game. For starters, it has its very own special attack bar, which actually starts at 0%. This axe becomes stronger every time you hit with it and it damages you for an 8 in the process. While you can use the axe's special attack at any time after going for a hit, it's recommended that you build it up to its cap of 5 hits where you can then go for its special attack which I can hit roughly a 75 in the gear I'm PKing with. Again, the best part about this axe is that its special attack is separate from every weapon in the game. So even after you spec with it, you still have 100% spec to use with every other weapon. <gasps> Come on. No way. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh my God. No. Oh, oh, I almost. Good fight. I almost said something really rude. Oh my God. That was ridiculously powerful. I would like to use this in max, but as of right now, the uh, at the cost of the Soul Reaper Axe is currently 16 mil, like the, the value of it. So if I did actually bring Torva, then that Soul Reaper Axe is gone. Anyway, what is the loot? 6.1 mil. Oh. Well, didn't even need my spec weapon. Okay. <laughs> wow, I actually really like this thing. I didn't think this would be a PvP weapon, but so far, it's pretty good. All right, one more hit. Okay, okay, let's go. Big hit. Oh my God. good jeez and like if this thing doesn't ko it you know the void waker combo after this spec is going to holy crap this guy's been rushing and i think i can get him come on okay one more okay come on dang dude <laughs> Come on. Come on. No. Oh, I'm a dippy dip. Oh, you're going to laugh? Please stop laughing. Okay, come on. I definitely ate that. Wait, I, j I did. I, I only ate the super combat potion, though. I definitely clicked all of my food. Come on. <laughs> This world lag just cost me 31 mil. Oh my god, good fight. <laughs> what a combo, dude. What a freaking combo. I love it. 2.5 mil. Damn, this thing's really fell in value. Fallen in value. Grammar. I already know my target's gonna be PJing me, dude. I'm gonna risk this. I shouldn't, though. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, good luck. Should eat this. I'm an idiot. Good fight. No way. Holy crap. 500k. I think we call the XP King there and go Virtus P King. But first, I have a few crates to open. Seven chances at getting an ancient statuette from these crates. So far, nothing. Although we still have five more. Nothing. Four more. Nothing. Three more. 
Nothing. Two more. Nope. Last one. Great five. Well, we got about 1.5 mil from it, so that's not that bad. Now it's time to really see what Virtus can do. Virtus robes are essentially a stronger version of Aram's robes, but each Virtus piece gives a 4% magic damage bonus when using ancient magics. So with the gear setup I'm PKing in, I'll be able to hit 44s with Barrage. To achieve this, I'm going to be risking roughly 360 mil. Well, I just woke up at 8 a.m. and uh, I'm gonna go PKing despite it not being a good idea because I'm risking so much, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens. What is going on over here? Battle. It kind of looks like you're already in one. Oh, never mind. I guess we're in one now. Okay. No way. No way he keeps bolting me, right? No way. Oh. No way he keeps bolting me. Wow. Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna lie, I expected him to go for a melee whack there. Like, the chances of hitting that many big bolts in a row is astonishing, but I should have waited to wake up before I went peeking, because that's 360 mil down. Okay, so I obviously bought all of that back, but before I go peeking again, I'm gonna wake up a little bit first. You're gone. Come on. Okay, good fo- Oh, no way, smited. Oh. No way. Come on, tell me there's some good plus ones in that. He had a Venge and D-Boot, so he might have had an AGS as well. What do we get? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's my first Web Weaver smite, dude. 29 mil PK. Smited. Framed. <laughs> Kill me. What? We should probably build up my Bronze Man account since it's the same combat. So just have my name be anonymous. Just to avoid running into people who died to me on purpose. What? Dude. This is what I'm talking about, dude. Like, I did smite him. I'm pretty sure I smited him, but he had a chance to get his prayer back on, and he saw it was me, so he just didn't. Like, I would gladly build up my other account just so I can go PKing anonymously, since I like to know that I've earned a PK when I've actually gotten it. You know what I mean? I mean, if you guys want to see me do that, I will build up that account. You just got to let me know. Come on. Never lucky. Yes, good fight. Oh my god. The barrage went in there, man. Virtus coming through on that one for sure. Loot is 10 mil. That's a pretty solid PK. Ooh. Okay. okay. I only went for him because he had the Hellcat. Target cat owners? Target him, targeted him because of a cat? You think the cat is an indication of wealth? <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. In that case, Jake is the richest man on earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, 1.7 mil. What's going on with you? What is this? One before the line. I timed that perfectly. What's the line? Right there. Set me. Good fight. Wow, look. This is the 30 line right here. This is the 31 line. He could tell you right here, and I timed that perfectly. That was the perfect timing. Now, what the hell was that guy doing out there? Like, like he had like a, like a normal like edge style fight gear setup, and he's out there with 6.3 mil. I think he's gonna try to get away here, dude. But these barrages, holy crap. Dang, yeah, he's gone. He's gone, dang, dude. This guy's like basically out. Come on, I need to catch a refreeze here. Right now, dang it, and he caught it, of course. Oh, he is gone. He is totally gone. These barrages, dude. Holy crap. I'm gonna range him down. You're gone. 
Welcome. Yeah, these barrages, dude. It just feels so good casting a barrage and seeing it hit over a 40. This Virtus is so beast, dude. 1.8 mil. I got the boots. <gasps> this guy's back. What are you doing back here? Please catch the refreeze. He's gone. Dude, I would have gotten him again. Dang. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. That's a big hit. Holy crap. Dude, I'm destroying him. Holy crap. Holy crap. How did I not get him? <laughs> oh. Okay. Barrage KO, surely. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, a nice 1.5 mil. I did actually get a few more kills, but they weren't really that interesting. So let's go to the final price check. I think my favorite item from Desert Treasure 2 is actually the Soul Reaper Axe, because that is so good for PvP. It is so fun. I will absolutely be PKing with that thing in the future. And I will say, I did expect to lose GP this video, but I did not expect to lose like over 600 mil, but we did make 100 121 mil so we recovered a decent bit it was not a complete loss